Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at selection as selection within Blender isn't exactly what you would think it is. What we're also going to be doing is taking a brief look at the 3D cursor within Blender as well. So. Starting off with selection, selecting an object within your scene is really straightforward. However, what you would expect to happen is that all you've got to do is just press the left click. And that is not the case. If you were to left click somewhere, it is going to give you this little cursor here. And this is the 3D cursor. And it is something that is not used for actually selecting an object. If you want to select an object, what you've got to do is use the right click and doing that you can select your object whether that is your light source, your camera or your cube. Once you have selected it you can then use your normal transformation stuff but that is going to be something that we'll be looking at later on in the series. So the main thing that you want to take away from this is that selection is going to be using right click. Now moving on we have got the left click which is for our 3D cursor. This 3D cursor, by placing it somewhere, by using left click, it is allowing us to set a location that can be used for either spawning an object, whether that's a cube or a sphere or a cone or a like. You can also use it as the pivot point as well. The pivot point is something that we'll cover in a little bit more detail in a later video, but what I've done is just done a cheeky little left click and placed my 3D cursor over here. If I was to go over to my tool tab and then create a cube, it is going to spawn it in the location of that 3D cursor. And generally that is the kind of stuff that you'll be doing with it. But we're not gonna to cover too much detail on that for now. So by now what you should have is an understanding of how selections work by left clicking and right clicking. What you can also do to select an object, like I've said previously, is using the scene outliner, you can just select an object using the little icons in the top right. Now, if you guys are having a little bit of trouble getting used to left click and right click, right click being your selection as opposed to left click, which is what you would expect, you can actually change that in the settings. And the way you do this is by going to file, user preferences and then within your blender user preferences go to the input tab and then you can change select with to left and the reason why you might want to do that is because some people have a hard time adjusting to this method as pretty much all other modeling packages and game engines and any software in general you are going to be making your selections with the left click. So moving to the right can be a little bit hard, so you can change it to the left if you want to. Now, the only downside to changing it this way is any key bindings that are using the selection may or may not work. So sometimes they might break those key bindings and they might stop working. So what I generally tend to do and will advise that you guys do is leave this with your selection being on the right mouse button and just taking a little bit of extra time to get used to it so you know later on down the line all of your key bindings are going to work. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about for selection. Pretty straightforward and I'm sure you guys have realized it already. Selection within the viewport is right mouse button, but the interface is all going to be the left mouse button. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.